Hello again, welcome to Aqaba. Uh, we have just landed in Aqaba and uh, we are going to do the walk around as I'm the pilot flying and it's my responsibility as right seat pilot to do the external uh, walk around. I'm going to show you the Embraer 195 which is the longest version of the uh, Embraer e Egypt's uh, family. So come with me, follow me please. Uh, usually in the uh, walk around, the walk around is the uh, last uh, check that is done before the airplane is dispatched. Uh, we, check, we check for uh, a visual inspection, a general inspection, uh, for any leaks, damage, bear strikes, obstructions. So uh, first of all, we check the uh, landing gear. Now we have to check the uh, air data smart probes. It's really important that they are not uh, obstructed or blocked. Uh, they are really important. Be one of the most important uh, sensors on board uh, the airplane. Uh, they have to be free of uh, any blockage in order to avoid any uh, consequent mishap, such as what happened with the. Uh, Aero Peru Flight uh, 603 in 1996. We also check for the uh, antennas that they are in good condition from the other side. Antennas are in good condition in place. The engine inlet, the fan blade that is, uh, it's not damaged, free to rotate, there's no fle uh, any leaks inside, and no foreign objects inside. The wind condition, especially the forward leading edge of the uh, wing, which is uh, really sensitive to any roughness, and it could uh, really affect the lift produced by the wind. And here is the uh, landing gear. The landing gear we check for the general condition of the uh, tires. No flat spots. We check the brake wear pin indicators. Uh, they are no less flush than the uh, brake uh, bracket outer assembly. Uh, if they are less than flush, it means that the uh, brakes are uh, worn out and they need replacement. No leaks. We check the condition of the struts. The tail section, the tail section, uh, no damage. Horizontal stabilizer, in good condition. Check the same thing for the uh, left landing gear. Sometimes a stinky smell from the engine means uh, that the uh, engine has ingested birds. It could be an indication of bird strike, so it needs to be cleaned and reported to the personnel. So now the external check is, has been completed and uh, it's time to go back home to Amman. Okay, now so uh, that we have just checked the uh, load sheet and calculated our uh, takeoff performance, uh, loaded the uh, uh, flex temperature and uh, the takeoff speeds. Now let's discuss the departure. Okay. Um, we don't have pushback today, so we'll only start up the engines and With the parking, uh, brake, the parking on. brake is on. Yep. Uh, we'll taxi, turn to the left, uh, 180 degrees, taxi via Alpha, full length runway 01. Mm -hmm. uh, our SID is going to be 
Luxus One Juliet. It's uh, RNAV One GNSS, DME DME not authorized, and we have to remain within Jordanian airspace as we have uh, discussed earlier that we have another boundary about one nautical mile uh, to the west of the airport. So uh, basically, we have to check that the plan view of the SID matches uh, what the FMS is showing. We have to climb to Alpha Quebec Charlie I'll check. 01 at or above 6,100 check. feet. Then uh, we turn right to Luxus, which is at or above flight level 150. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check. It needs uh, continuous 5.8% uh, continuous climb. And we are able, we are uh, uh, lightweighted. As for the threats, as we said, non radar environment, we have the mountains to our right. Uh, we are going to strictly adhere to the S, uh, SID. And uh, we'll only turn uh, on the SID. It allows us to mm -hmm. turn at 6,100 uh, at sure. Alpha Quebec Charlie. Usually we take Al Araba uh, departure, but the, uh, it's based on the Alpha Quebec uh, Charlie NDB. And the uh, regulations uh, require us to have the nav aid operational yes. in order to conduct a conventional uh, uh, departure. So we are uh, conducting an RNAV GNS based on GPS uh, departure. Yes. Okay. We also uh, heard when we are uh, uh, on our way here that there's uh, military activity. So let's check the uh, uh, departure or takeoff path. Yes, exactly. On our uh, radar. Good listening to the. Good listening to the ATC. Period. Great. Okay. Uh, just in case of engine failure, our takeoff performance is based on an extended runway uh, track. So uh, we have an airspace to our left. To our right is a uh, mountainous area, high, steeply rising terrain. So just in case of engine failure at 400 feet, activate runway track. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fly uh, to follow runway track. Sure. So just in case uh, we have crosswind from the left, it would not. Uh, drift us towards the mountain. Okay. Great. Any questions? No questions. Thank you very much. Okay. okay let's have startup clean us, please. Okay. Jordanian three zero five. Long clear. Go ahead, sir. Jordanian three zero five. Request startup clearance, please. Roger, startup approved, temperature 2 9 Startup approved, Jordanian 305. 3600 is checked, MCDU. Set for check. Trim panel. One up, zero, zero set. Doors and windows. Closed, closed. Closed, red beacon. On. Parking brake. Set. Before start okay, checklist. Okay, ground. Complete. Starting one. Okay, normal start one, starting two ground. Clap and check. Checked. Fuel fuel. Check. ITT rising. Jordan 305, go ahead, request the final level. 190 is clear, Jordanian 305. Roger, Kevin, Siri, what are you for taxi? Run to cockpit. We have two normal engines start here. Disconnect, show me a signal. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Sit, Allah is salam. Sit, take off flaps one, please. Okay, flaps one, set. APU off. APU is set. Okay. And one target, 84.6. We should have 84.5 within the minutes. Check. Start controls. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Steers off. Full left. Right, you should. Okay, after start, please. Signal received. Thank you. After start. After start, checklist, ground equipment. Remove, signal received. Remove, sand flap. One set. Flight controls. Check. 
after start checklist. Thank you, taxi. Tower Jordanian 305, request taxi. Jordanian 305, taxi holding point runway 01 via taxiway Alpha, QNH 1010. Taxi holding point runway 01 via taxiway Alpha, QNH 1010, Jordanian 305. Left is clear. Right is clear, as brief, QNH 1010, runway 01 by Alpha. Right is clear? Right is clear. Left is clear all the way. Right is clear. Left is clear. This for the radar and revise the clearance, please. Okay. You have it. Thank Let's you. revise it. Runway zero 01, Luxus 1 Juliet. Initial clearance is Alpha Quebec Charlie zero 01 at or above 6100. Climb 190, squawk 1103. It's set. Check, thank you. Radio will set. Aqaba airport is sea level, so due to its sea level, it is uh, very good for the airplane performance, much better. Even with the high temperature, Embraer can still make it at high weights for takeoff. I love this airport because my first solo was here, so it has a special... Uh, me too, by the way. Yes, his first solo as well. So we usually get our training here because the weather, weather is uh, much better than Amman. And uh, it's more feasible to fly over here. So uh, it has a special place in my heart with great memories. Please line up and report ready. Line up and wait, uh, runway 01, and we are uh, ready for departure, Jordanian 305. Roger, sir, key for takeoff, runway 01, the wind 010, two knots. Yes, for takeoff, runway 01, Jordanian uh, 305. Okay, great. Cleared for takeoff. Great. We will uh, delay the before takeoff checklist until we are very close to the point, lining point, in order to still have communication open between us and the crew before we give them the sign for full sterile conference. Approach is clear. Runway zero one identified. Before takeoff check, please. Take off. Okay. For takeoff Runways. checklist. Brake temperature. Checked. Runway is clear. ICAS. Checked. Transponder. TRA. Takeoff configuration. Checked. Before takeoff checklist completed, cleared for takeoff. Okay. And a zero 01, we clear for takeoff. Takeoff path. We have an airplane as it's crossing our path. Within six miles. Yes, uh, please uh, advise him. Aqaba Tower Jordanian 305, just to confirm, uh, two traffic uh, on our takeoff path within uh, 7.5 miles. Yes, sir, uh, maybe from the other side. I don't have any traffic. Okay. Roger, uh, Jordanian 305. It was crossing here and it went to the left, so it's out of our way right now. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready. Clear for takeoff. You have controls? I have controls. 
40 stabilized take off check thrust thrust is check 84.6 Traffic in sight. I can see. Flight level change or to pilots? 1000. Flight level change or to pilots being elevated? Of pilots. It's no factor. I wanted to keep climbing. Speed 155. Yes, better. To clear as much uh, altitude as we can because of the terrain on the right side. Traffic no factor now. Speed okay. VFS set. Lab zero. Speed check. Lab zero. Speed 
Slash flap zero. After take off checklist, After please. After take off, landing gear is up. Slash flap zero. After take off checklist completed. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this turbulence is normal. It's a mountainous area with hot temperature. So the hot temperature usually get hot updrafts, which goes upward and uh, causes this turbulence. Minimum safe altitude. Half past. Check. Speed to fifty. Check. I'll call them. Out of 10,500 uh, Shorinian uh, uh, 305. 10,000? Check. Uh, I'm continuing now with Amman uh, Control 128 Decimal 5. Have a nice trip. Bye. Thank you. 1285 Shorinian 305. Amman Shorinian 305. Good morning. Out of 11,200 climbing 190. And the ice cream valve open. Good morning, Jordanian 305. Uh, proceed direct as part 26 left right 1014. Roger, uh, requesting runway 26 left uh, and direct as part Jordanian 305. Approved. 26 uh, right in Ken. I shall park in position. Yeah, I'll check with them now. Okay. Enter with the crates. Affirm. Activated. Equip with the crates. Transition, standard, set, and... Standard, set, and cross check, passing uh, 134 now. Check. Do you need anything, guys? Not really, thank you. You have controls and communication. I have ATC.
خلينا 2 6 رايت عشان جلايد سلوب على 2 6 ليفت بيعمل فلكشويشن تتاكد اه ال تشيك اور باركينج بوزيشن نورث 03 يس كان بي نورث 03 كوكبيت هلا امير دو يو نيد اني ثينك جايز نو ثانك يو نوتي الله يعافيك يا حبيبتي باي باي I'll uh, send the, the departure message. Okay. We have controls communication. I have controls communications. Okay, so. let's do six sides. Uh, zero six one zero. Zero six two Hello, guys. Uh, so now we are flying at 19,000 feet going back to Amman. So, uh, I thought to myself, uh, why uh, shouldn't uh, we say something about ourselves and uh, give you more introduction about me and Hagop, uh, according to my uh, flying career, actually. Uh, I didn't start at a very young age because, uh, uh, first of all, I had uh, my bachelor degree at uh, the university, and I didn't like uh, my uh, uh, aspect. It was uh, in the computer. It was not really my dream. It did not fulfill me fulfill me completely. So um, I was very lucky to take a, a scholarship uh, by Royal Jordanian Airlines to study as a pilot by their scholarship. I'm very grateful to my beloved company, actually. And ever since I've been with Royal Jordanian for 12 years, uh, they offered me a great job. I, had, uh, I flew uh, Embraer as a first officer for four years. Then I flew uh, Airbus 320 for five years as a uh, first officer also. Then for my upgrades, uh, there was a shortage of pilots so on the Embraer, and uh, my upgrade was on the Embraer. Uh, I like the Embraer because it's the first airplane that I ever flown, and uh, actually it's uh, very nice uh, to handle the airplane. You can feel it more uh, than the other airplanes. It's very enjoyable, it's flying. Short, uh, short uh, flights, turnarounds all, all the time, so I'm always close to my family. And uh, what about you, Hagob? So, uh, a big hi to uh, Just Planes viewers and uh, welcome Just Planes on board. Uh, we are on our uh, flight back to Amman. It's lovely today. We had uh, very scenic views uh, today. Um, aviation has been uh, a passion since I was a young child. My father used to uh, travel a lot, so uh, we used to drop him off and pick him uh, from the airport. I do remember when uh, I really was uh, surprised when I saw the, the air, that small airplane that we used to uh, see from our home is uh, really big. Uh, that passion grew. It's a very big passion. I have been uh, enthusiastic uh, since my childhood. Uh, I couldn't wait uh, till graduating from uh, my school. So uh, I started flying uh, at the age of uh, 13. So I was 13 years old when I started uh, flying gliders at the Royal Jordanian Gliding Club. And uh, after graduating from high school, immediately I started at the uh, flight school. I graduated from the Royal Jordanian Air Academy in uh, 2016 and joined the uh, Royal Jordanian immediately. I have been working as a first officer at this lovely company uh, since uh, about three years ago flying on this uh, beautiful aircraft, the Embraer. Love the, the thing that you do and you will never work a day in your life, as uh, Captain Dima said. So you